Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? In today's video, we're going to feature this guitar from John Page. This is the John Page P1 Custom.
I want to thank Jeanette from Davis Guitar for sending this guitar over for review. Um, I saw this guitar on their website and I was intrigued by how it looked. It's a pretty guitar. Uh, it features a maple flame top over a mahogany body. Really nice. This is like a, a dark two-tone uh, kind of finish. Shares the same finish with the headstock. And the headstock has a John Page uh, logo there. All right. And it features a five-piece uh, mahogany and maple neck with Indian rosewood fretboard. All right. It also has a uh, normal nickel frets. And I'm guessing that the fret radius is about 14 inch. I'm just guessing because I do not have the, the full details of the specs. Uh, this, I believe, is a bone nut. And you have individual uh, six saddle tally bridge. The neck profile is a medium C, not as slim as the ones that I've played on the Schecters or the ESP or the LTVs. These are a bit more chunkier, medium C. Now, these pickups are from Sir. This is the SSV uh, humbucker uh, with split call capability and this is a classic T, a classic Telecaster bridge pickup. Uh, does not have a, a split call push-pull function on, on the volume knob or the treble or the tone knob. Instead it has a, a five-way selector switch but I'm guessing that uh, there is a split call on the humbucker and you can kind of like um, maybe I'm just guessing right so maybe on the first position you have the uh, the neck humbucker. The second position you probably have the split and on the third position you have the humbucker with the single call and then on the fourth position probably the same and then the last will be the bridge. Now I'm not too sure about the fourth position it could be a series it could be in series it could be in parallel I, I don't know what's happening here so I'm just guessing but in any case I kind of like the sound. The, uh, the differences in uh, the the single call or rather the split call and the humbuckers are there but not uh, as drastic as the other guitars that I reviewed so far. Yeah, pretty nice. Now, how does this play? This plays uh, comfortable. I like the medium C neck. You know, it's been a long while since I played the medium C neck. Um, I'm really comfortable with this um, bending, chord, everything. It's, it's a real well made uh, guitar. Um, I like the, uh, the the figures on on the back. You know, the figures on the back. It's really nice. Really pretty. Right. And how does it sound? Now the pickups are excellent. I like I like this serve our uh, SSV uh, humbucker. It's warm and it still has that um, bite. If you if you dig in, you know you still have that bite, and I kind of appreciate that. And the uh, classic T at the back, right at the bridge. This is a nice sounding pickup. You know it, it, it has that aggression that you need for a bridge pickup. Yeah, really nice. Right. So let me know what you think about this guitar. Um, not cheap though, I'm gonna put a price down here. Uh, this is what it costs. And if you're in Singapore, you might just wanna take a look and play around with this in Davis. Um, yeah, yeah, just do that. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, join this channel and subscribe to this uh, channel. And press the bell to be notified of future videos. And be part of the patrons that uh, support this channel. I need your support. So I thank all uh, my patrons who uh, have supported me with their friendship and their love. Thank you guys. So in the meantime, you guys, please take care of yourself. Right? And uh, I've, I've done two uh, compilations of some of the uh, stuff that I played on my past videos. I, uh, one for electric and the other for acoustic. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I can just play in the car or anything like that. You know? So in the meantime, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again. Ciao.